Ben here uh, from quantlabs.net. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the legitimacy of cryptocurrencies with these kind of moves and news stories. So uh, two, days ago, two days ago, Mr. Trump decided to tweet that the Fed should uh, cut interest rates to zero or less to refinance the debt. Here's some facts that I've picked up on Bloomberg News. Uh, this time last year, under Trump, the deficit for the U.S. government was about $800 billion. This year, um, up to uh, September, um, it's around one, just over a trillion dollars deficit. So he's spending more money than last year, and he's not living up to his po promises of balancing his books. As a result... That means he's now trying to use negative interest uh, to keep the uh, spending machine going. This is insane. Um, I know during the campaign, I don't think Trump would have uh, promoted this. Obviously, this is part of the shadow government. You know, whoever's running the show as the real government of the U.S. to put this into his head to say... Zero interest rates, just like in Europe, what was announced yesterday was bonkers in my mind there, is a good thing because it lowers interest and it, uh, it increases the duration of the debt, carrying the debt. Absolutely crazy. Why? Because when you put money into the bank, it's costing you. You have to pay the bank to hold your money. Minus the fact that with a bail-in, when the banks do go bankrupt when this happens, they'll be able to take a portion of your deposits. To stay alive. That's what the government has by law in a lot of Western countries. So that's not talked about. Also what's not talked about is when it comes to trying to save money, really to save money for retirement, it, it, it's next to impossible. So I think no matter what age you're at, no matter where you're at in your life, no matter what your risk profile is, you need to find something to counteract this. Everyone's piling in the gold and and uh, other precious metals, and there's some performance there. I'm not doubting it, but when the markets go up, and that's unpredictable, you will lose value on the on your gold trade. So, uh, there's not a lot of options out there. Uh, people talk about real estate. I'll be putting out some videos on that in the next few days or or within the next week. So. If you come over to my website, here's a pitch for you. It's coming. Quantlabs.net. Uh, just come to the store option right there. This will be redesigned in the next day or so anyways to make it a lot easier. Um, I'm now doing the uh, quant analytics service. In there, um, I purposely the last three months seeing this coming to really focus on cryptocurrency um, if you've not watched my video I posted yesterday, it was nearly two hours. Easily the trade of the year, again, not talked about, was how Bitcoin went from $3,000 to $12,000 in a matter of three months. That's the trade of the year, and that might be the trade of the next few years because you've made three, four times return uh, just by buying and holding, or as they call it, hodling. Will that happen again? I'm not sure. But... All I can tell you is if Trump's wanting to take interest rates negative, making it harder for you to get by, to grow your account, to get uh, higher um, savings, especially for retirement, you can guarantee yourself that you'll be losing money no matter what you do. So that brings in the utility of now cryptocurrency. There's a couple of things that's happening. Um, a lot of Western countries and throughout India, as an example, they're trying to get rid of cash. Why? Because governments know that they're running out of money. They're needing to tax more and more and more. Look at France where they tried to tax 75% rate 10 years ago uh, for the ultra wealthy. Who's going to want to work? Who's want to want to create jobs? Who's going to want to uh, run a business when they're taxing 75%? And who does that money go to? Who does it support? <laughs> probably the bureaucrats in the EU and other um, not so friendly things that you probably don't support on a social level. So a lot of people are now going to start looking for alternatives to generate money and to hopefully preserve it. Um, the way I look at it is cryptocurrency is the way. 
Um, it might not be Bitcoin, it may be something else. Um, and as I said, a lot of governments are now trying to control cash or, or eliminate it. Why? Because once they eliminate cash, that now means that you're not able to buy things anonymously. But because now they have things like in Canada, Interact, debit cards or bank cards that are associated when you go out and you buy, they know exactly what you're buying because they are tracking it and the banks will track it. No different than what you put up on your iPhone through social media or whatnot. So the anonymity decreases day by day. And that's where um, cryptocurrency becomes more and more crucial as more and more people move to it. And also um, as a form of, I, won't, I don't like to use the word or phrase tax evasion, but um, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, so with that in mind, um, the value of Bitcoin uh, is going to become more important or anything like Bitcoin. What I have seen is that Bitcoin and a bunch of the uh, coins do uh, a trade together. But there's a few other coins that don't. Monero, EOS, Dash, these are all private anonymous coins. So that brings us back to the world of co uh, concept of cash. So as long as the world starts to move into the uh, area of being able to spend money and transact with anonymity and privacy, especially with Monero, uh, it will become more and more crucial as time passes as people are getting kind of fed up with how things are playing out, especially with these negative interest rates. And now that you, the freedom... Uh, the leader of the free world now saying, hey, I'm all for it. Uh, sorry, he's going to start losing a lot of support because of that. Um, so I think the importance of, uh, of of cryptocurrency will become very, very crucial over the next, who knows, few years. Um, and Amazon may support it. Who knows? It just depends where the market demand comes. So for now... Um, I've got the services, the Quant Analytics. Um, we're just setting it up now. Um, I just put up the track record so you can go on to my website and get daily track record. I put up a video on that on my YouTube channel so you can get that. It's part of uh, the, uh, what do you call, uh, transparency that people want. Um, and if it proves itself and it's consistently profitable, I, so need, I see no reason to charge, you know, Bargain Herald uh, rates. Um, because now I'm proving the world that if this thing does become profitable, uh, I could easily charge a couple hundred bucks a month. I know there's a market out there that will pay for that as well as other areas that I purposely uh, designed with this. So with this service, the analytics, uh, it's very cheap right now. You'd be grandfathered into it. Uh, focuses on two asset classes, retail Forex for any broker out there because I'll be making available hopefully next week the custom uh, expert advisor that's been built by somebody uh, that will work with any version of MetaTrader 4. So it'll work with any, uh, obviously, Forex broker your choice uh, for the world of MetaTrader 4 and this EA. And then you'll get uh, email signals for me for the, uh, e uh, for the um, entries uh, on the Forex side. So on the crypto side, you get both the entry and exit. I make available uh, some open source a code on Python to interact with it. I use Kraken on the U.S. so I can stay in compliance to help U.S. citizens uh, get into crypto. Originally, I was with Binance, and we know Binance uh, has uh, removed itself from uh, the U.S., and there'll be the watered-down version coming out in the next few weeks. So crypto is a space. Um, the, the strategy has been doing pretty decently. Um, even if you get half a percent, I'd be pretty happy with that, considering where things are going right now um, with the indicators that you see with the data, everything's just pointing down. I mean, the news lot yesterday was just, again, bonkers with what uh, Draghi wants to do with the ECB. The worst part is, it's one thing to go negative and go deeper negative and hope that something comes out of it. <laughs> Long term, it's just a disaster. But the other thing that it shows their desperation is they're willing to buy up bonds of member states or countries uh, with no schedule it's just open-ended so they could do that forever and ever amen i think that's just a disgrace uh from an, any reputable institution and as we know that's draggy's last stand as well and then we have christine lagarde who's in the con who's not really uh is more of a, politi a po political economist and not really much of a fiscal 
hawk or dove when it comes to running the ECB. So I think that move will become a disaster over the next few years. Anyways, outside of that, it just it's just it's it's crazy uh way things are. Um, and again, again, crypto will become more and more important and the utility of it will become more important, but it will go mainstream at some point. Um, it will go mainstream at some point when, uh, um, the, uh, big players like the big merchants like Amazon will start to support it and transact in it, but the governments are trying to control it. Uh, all access points so that they can control your purchases and track your purchases as well as track your um, your tax portion of that because that's what they want. So it's going to be an interesting world, but I don't know. That's going to be hard to save and uh, it's going to get harder and harder. So this brings about this sort of service, how it will become more critical. Uh, as I said right now, it's very cheap and I'll be raising it 50%, probably doubling it in the next few weeks after that. So that's the plan. Just wanted to let you know what's going on, give you some rationale on this article here that uh, is on a Canadian paper, but it, it was on um, Business Insider, whatever that site is, on financialpost.com. Donald Trump is tweeting that the Fed should cut interest rates to zero or less to refinance the debt. That, that, my friends, is crazy. Anyways, we shall talk to you later. I uh, wish I could give you some better news on that, and uh, we shall talk to you soon. Have a good day.